Good afternoon folks, Big Bo here and I'm going to switch gears a little bit and today we're going to look at a boat trade-in value from Parkway RV Center. Got a very affordable Wellcraft boat today. Uh, we're going to look at a 1985 Wellcraft 260. Now don't let the year model scare you folks. This is a nice boat. We actually traded on this boat several months ago um, and uh, what we've had, we've had it in the water at the lake. Uh, we usually keep a boat and a camper for our employees to use on the weekends. And we traded for a boat the other day that's uh, a little bit bigger than this one. So we took it up there and brought this one out of the water decided to sell it. 1985 Wellcraft 260. It's about 29 feet long if you include the swim platform and the anchor platform. On a Hustler metal trailer that's in good shape. The boat overall is in immaculate for the year model. And folks, this thing's a bargain. $6,500 cash trade um, for this very nice Wellcraft boat. It's got a 260 horsepower, uh, 350 cubic inch Mer Cruiser. Last year, when the previous owner had it, he spent, I think he said $4,000 having the motor rebuilt, and we've put about 25 hours on it uh, since then. The boat shows 696 hours, but only about 25 or 26 hours on this motor. So the motor, it cranks up, runs great. I've been on this boat myself on the water. Folks, it's got a great hull design. It cuts through the wake like nobody's business. And don't let that year model fool you folks. That motor and everything's just got a ton of life left to it. Bottom paint's a couple of years old. It's still in decent shape. I'm not sure about the beam width i'm going to guess eight foot but it may be wider than that got a good deep hole and you can see the hole looks great tires on the trailer look great swim platform on the back i'm not sure what kind of outdrive that is um, it looks like the original outdrive but it's great it works great got the trim tabs Folks, where else are you going to find something like this for only $6,500? I mean, this is a great, affordable summer toy. And it's something you can use right now. You don't have to put it in the shop start working on it. I mean, we were using it just a couple of weeks ago. And um, batteries are good. Uh, before we put it in the water for our employees to use, of course, we had it checked out by a marine mechanic. And it went through everything with flying colors. And the motor is just great. It's a 5.7 liter. 350 block, so it's definitely the 350 cubic inch engine that everybody wants. Trailer's in good shape for what it is. Now, folks, I'm not saying this is a brand new boat, and of course, I'm, I'm sure you're not expecting a brand new boat for $6,500, but it's a decent original 1985 Wellcraft 260. Like I said, the hole looks good, the bottom's in decent shape. Trailer comes with it, and you know, this is a big enough boat. You can trailer it back and forth. You don't have to pay for a slip fee if you don't want to. Well, certainly it's easier to have it in a slip, but you certainly got a trailer for whatever you want to take it out for or to store it. Um, I'm going to pause the video for a minute, climb up on board, and show you the inside. Uh, but anyway, folks, just hang tight. All righty, folks, we're on board this 1985 Wellcraft. 260. Uh, and you can see, folks, to be an all original boat, this thing's in phenomenal condition. It's a little bit dirty, but it's clean. The swim platform looks great. Uh, ladder's in great shape. All the railings there, safety chains, fold out seat right here on the back. Uh, of course, we're standing on top of the motor compartment. Like I said, it's, it's that bulletproof 350 cubic inch V8 everybody loves. 260 horse, got the Thunderbolt ignition and power steering. Uh, up here, folks, everything's all original. Now, I know this upholstery may not be the best condition in the world, but you got to realize this, this vinyl is 30, good Lord, has it been that long ago since 1985, folks? 34 years old, and for 34-year-old upholstery, it's in very, very good condition. Of course, this seat folds out. I just got to have two hands to do it. You know, stepping up here, driver's view. You know, you can see it's uh, definitely like it's supposed to be. 
fiberglass is in good shape. I would say this boat's been kept undercover, and we had it in a covered slip too. A uh, few months that we've owned it, but the but the boat cranks up, runs great. Let's open up everything. And go down here. Take a look down here inside. Now, folks, this is keep in mind this is an '85 model. It's all original upholstery, all original interior. So obviously, it's not. It's going to be dated looking. Got the red carpet, which you know you can change the interior out pretty reasonably. And for no more upholstery than you got on the outside. I mean, you really only got the driver's bench seat and then the folding bench seat in the back if you wanted to modernize the colors on the outside. You do that, folks. You modernize the interior and the upholstery. You can't tell this is an 86 from a 2006 model. Uh, here in the back, folks, now I don't know if there's a switch I'm missing, but I can't get the 12-volt lights to come on. I'm sure there's a switch somewhere that I'm... I'm missing because I'll, I'll be I'll be the first one to admit, folks. I mean, I know a little bit about boats, but I'm an RV guy, as many of you know. Uh, my experience, my personal experience with boats, is mostly bass boats and pontoon boats. I uh, got a V-berth bed. I'm gonna let my camera focus. I was afraid this low light's gonna make it a little blurry. Y'all forgive me. I've got pictures of everything too. Got a V-berth, approximately a uh, full of the queen bed in the front. Table booth makes a bed. It's real similar to an RV. Uh, the refrigerator is cold. It's got an onboard water system um, and tank, fresh water tank. Of course, you know, all the little shelving and all that's in good shape. Got windows on the side, got the carpeted headliner. Got a head with shower, so I'm assuming it's got hot water. Pump out head. Now, I don't know how well I can show it, but down here is a uh, back sleeper bed, full size bed, so it's just strictly a something for the kids or maybe one adult. So you can sleep five or six people in this little boat if you want to. Make a great project, folks, for the price, or you can use it just like it sets. And if you can, if you can, you know, if you can put up with a dated looking interior, then heck, there's no reason why you can't take this boat to the lake this weekend. Um, like I said, folks, I'm not trying to get rich off this boat. We've used it for a few hours, and employees got a lot of fun use out of it. So, you know, we're selling it for $6,500, not making any money on it. That's what we have in it. Um, of course, that's as is. Uh, you know, come look at the boat. You know, I've got it stored inside in a building. We're about a mile from our main dealership, so just come down to the dealership, and one of our salespeople will run you over here to look at this boat. Um, but you know, it's just a neat, just a neat boat that's very affordable. Now, I'm not saying this thing's a blue water or, or a, you know, a, a, a 500 Sea Ray or anything like that. For somebody that's on a budget, just wants an affordable clean older boat this is a great choice it's already got a trailer you know a lot of these older boats like this you have to buy them out of the water they don't have trailers so you got a trailer boat you've got a rebuilt motor out drive works great everything's solid floor solid everything else all fiberglass is great you know you can probably spend a few hundred bucks and modernize the interior and a few hundred bucks modernizing the upholstery on the outside and you won't be able to tell this is an 85 model boat once you do that or just like I said, use it like it sits. The bilge is dry. I've got pictures of the motor. Although I'm not going to be able to pull those motor compartments open holding a camera. So definitely check out the pictures on the ad to see the motor and all the other details. Batteries are good. Uh, we replaced them before we started using it a few months ago. Neat boat, folks. Now, it's not new. It's a 34-year-old boat. I mean, it's... But I honestly believe, in my personal opinion, this is above average condition for this age of a boat, and especially for this price. Anyway, folks, more than likely, whoever's watching this video is probably going to know more about boats than I do as far as this style of boat. Like I said, I've used a boat. I know it runs good. I know it's got a good ride to it going across choppy water. And we've got it here for you to look at. Um, Give us a call, 706-965-7929. Make an appointment to come look at it. 
so we can make sure the shop's open for wh whichever salesperson brings you here. Uh, we're not on location. Uh, we've got, like I said, we're on a, we've got an auxiliary shop about a mile from our dealership that we use and we've got it stored in here. But anyway, folks, call, let us know you're coming so we can certainly make sure that um, the shop's open for you to look at it. Give us a call. Our phone number again, 706-965-7929, evenings and Sundays, 423-605-6747. Websites, parkwayrvcenter.com, and it's a cash or trade sale only. I'm sorry, folks, but A, this is a 1985 model, and B, this is a boat. All of our lenders are not set up for marine financing, and even if they were, folks, they will not finance a 1985 model. So for those of you needing financing, you'll have to go to your own bank or credit union or finance company, get a loan for it. I personally recommend, I know this thing's probably not going to have much of a book being the age it is, but try to find one for that book value in this good a condition. You'll be looking for a long time, folks, and come right back to this one if somebody else hadn't bought it. But go get your personal loan or signature loan. It takes 30 minutes, at least at my bank, to get a... Six seven thousand dollar personal loan or sixty five hundred dollar personal loan, and you're in and out in thirty minutes. You got a check in your hand, and you don't have to use the boat for collateral. So, what I would that's what I would definitely recommend doing because no more money than you're financing. A, f a few extra points of interest isn't going to make much difference in your payment for no more for only financing sixty five hundred or ever how much you finance on it. Or you can finance you an extra thousand dollars and, and and update the interior. I mean, it's uh you know, with a personal loan, you can finance as much as you as your payment can stand. So, and your credit's good for. Anyway, if you got any questions about this boat, give us a call, seven zero six nine six five seven nine two nine. Keep in mind, my guys, they know a little bit about boats. They're RV salespeople, but if they don't know, we we certainly got resources that we can call and find out the answer to your questions and call you back, let you know. And we'll give you all the information that we know. Uh, like I said, we've used a boat. Two or three employees are very familiar with this boat, including myself. So, you know, I can help you out as far as the basic questions or, or anybody else can. So. Definitely give us a call if you're interested in this well craft. Again, it's a 1985 Sea Ray 250 Cuddy Cabin Weekender boat. About 29 feet long, about 8 foot wide, maybe 9 foot wide. Um, 350 V8 Mer Cruiser. Um, with about 25 hours on a rebuild. Looks great. Builds looks great. All original. Just a neat old boat, folks. For especially for, I mean, sixty-five hundred dollars, folks. You can't even, you can't buy a decent used car for that. Much less a, much less a a, a nice boat that your family can enjoy all weekend. I mean, this is something, folks. You can use. And, and the good thing about a boat like this, folks, you take it and use it for a couple of years. Especially if you sell it in the springtime, this boat will be worth sixty-five hundred dollars for the next several years. Now, take that versus buying a new boat or a late model boat, and you'll lose. You'll lose $6,500 a month in depreciation on a new boat for the first year, depending on what kind of boat you get. So basically, the depreciation's out of it. It's going to be worth this for the next few years. Now, if this is your first boat, you can take it, enjoy it, use it for a few years, put it back on the Internet, sell it, get your money back out of it when you get ready to, to get something else and use that money towards something else. Anyway, folks, give us a call, 706-965-7929. Evenings and Sundays, 423-605-6747, and you can visit our website, parkwayrvcenter.com. Uh, we do take trade-ins and cash only for this boat. If you want to contact your bank or credit union, they need any paperwork from us, well, of course, we're more than happy to send that to them um, if you need to try to secure a loan for this boat. Thank you again for watching. We do have delivery available, uh, nationwide delivery available. Just contact us to get a price. Again, our phone number is 706-965-7929, evenings and Sundays, 423-605-6747. You can email us at sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. Thank you for watching the video. Look forward to seeing you soon in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.